Emulators certainly do a good job in mimicking real hardware, but when it comes to the Commodore 128, which emulator stands apart from the rest? Welcome. Get ready for our first speed challenge. Of course, for any challenge to be a challenge, you need to have challengers. So of course, today's participants will include the Commodore 128. The other challengers will be Commodore 128 emulators. So I'm not really familiar of how many are out there. So I thought I would look it up. Here seems to be a good link. All right. Okay, so I'm running Windows on my PC, so it's important that I make sure the emulator is supported on my platform. We have Vice, Z64K, and MAME. Okay then, let's work on acquiring these. The first one that we'll get is Vice. Okay, I wonder if these links will actually allow us to download. So click for Vice. Oh yeah, official Windows build here. The versatile Commodore emulator. Now here's the latest build. Wait a few seconds. And here it comes. Terrific. Next up, the Z64K emulator. Okay, back to our links page. Z64K. Official releases. And scroll down a bit to get the jar file. Done. And our final participant, MAME, the Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator. Back at our links page, we click MAME. Then Downloads, Official Release here, and Windows Binary here, and Terrific. Now there's just one more thing about MAME. Gotta get the ROM file. I've always found getting ROM files for MAME as a challenge kind of like one of those things. Can I do it without getting a virus? Anyways, looking for a 128 NTSC ROM. Very good. And download. So I click. And can I speed this up with a click? Oh, no, it just resets the timer. But looks like we're getting it. Perfect. Now that we have all four participants, what we need is a task that all four challengers can perform simultaneously. So what I thought would be really easy is to simply boot into the CPM Plus operating system. In order for it to be fair, all four participants must use the exact same disk image. You don't want one with tracks and sectors of files in different areas to give one participant an advantage over another. So let's go get a CPM plus disk image. Okay, let's head over to Bo Zimmerman's website at zimmers.net. Let's go on to Commodore, then to 8-bit files, C128 OS for operating systems, CPM, um, assistant dependent CPM software, sys, C128, and a system for the system files. So Bo Zimmerman has a bunch of boot disks here. Let's go get this one, unpack it, and let's get started. Now we need to configure all of the emulators to match the real hardware on hand which is a Commodore 128D cost-reduced version, NTSC, and using a 1571 drive. Now for a quick recap of all the participants, we have the Commodore 128D, we have Vice, we have the Z64K emulator, and finally MAME. 
What we're looking for in an emulator is not how fast it can possibly go, but rather how closely it can imitate the speed of real hardware. Of course, there are many aspects of hardware emulation that are beyond the scope of this episode, but if you wish me to cover some of those in a future episode, feel free to leave a comment. For now though, let's find out which of these Commodore 128 emulators most closely resembles the speed of true Commodore 128 hardware. The challenge officially begins when the word booting appears. Well, there we have it. Were you surprised by the result? The MAME emulator never did complete its boot into CPM+. For spending this time with me and watching this video, thank you. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, turn on notifications for more videos.